Iran threatens Israel with war of annihilation if Lebanon is attacked. If Israel attacks Lebanon, a war of annihilation will begin. This was stated by the Iranian mission to the UN on the social network X. It is noted that all options for the development of events are supposedly ready in the event of an Israeli attack on Lebanon, although statements about this are considered psychological warfare. Despite the fact that Iran considers the Zionist regime's propaganda about its intention to attack Lebanon to be psychological warfare, if it launches full-scale military aggression, a war of annihilation will begin. All options, including the full involvement of all resistance fronts, are on the table, it says in the message. Against the backdrop of the war in the Gaza Strip, the situation is escalating on Israel's border with Lebanon, where the Iran-backed Islamist movement Hezbollah is thriving. As CBS News journalists reported, the United States is concerned that a new front may open there, which will increase Israel's needs for American weapons. Unlike Hamas's surprise attack on Israel in October 2023, a possible war with Lebanon's Hezbollah is something the Israeli military has been thinking about for years, US officials say. In mid-June, the Israeli military approved an operational plan for an offensive in Lebanon. Following the ongoing operation against Hamas in Gaza, the military plans to the forces of Hezbollah, which, like Hamas, is acting against Israel, occasionally shelling the Jewish state from the north. Israel's military said that on June the 28th, about 25 rockets were launched from Lebanon toward northern Israel, damaging a building and setting fires as tensions between Israel and Iran-backed Hezbollah threatened the spiral into a full-blown war. Israeli artillery bombarded the sources of the rocket fire, and the military said Israeli warplanes also struck what is described as Hezbollah infrastructure in the area of Jabal Safi, north of the city of Nabatieh. Israel's air defense system also failed to intercept three drones from Lebanon that flew into Israeli airspace, the military said. Firefighters were dispatched in the north to try to extinguish the blazes. The cross-border fire came as Israel's defense minister told troops on the northern border that he still sought a diplomatic agreement to calm tensions along the border, but that the military was prepared to fight. We are not looking for war, but we are ready for it, Yoav Gallant said. He said that if Hezbollah chooses to go to war, we will know what to do. Iran is expected to start war against Israel, threat increases to U.S. military forces in the region. Israeli military advance into Lebanon threatens a response from Iran, which could come to the defense of Hezbollah, triggering an escalation of the war that could jeopardize U.S. forces in the region, states Air Force General Charles Brown, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The general stated that Iran supports Hamas but would provide greater support to Hezbollah, especially if they feel that Hezbollah is under serious threat. Brown spoke to reporters during a trip to Botswana for a meeting of defense ministers from African countries. Since the start of the war in the Gaza Strip, rocket attacks on Israeli territory by Hezbollah, recognized as a terrorist organization by the governments of several countries, including the European Union, have increased. In response, Israel has been striking Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. On June the 11th, Israeli aircraft launched another strike. Over a few days, Hezbollah fired more than 100 rockets into Israeli territory. On June the 21st to the 22nd, Israeli aviation struck targets belonging to the organization in four areas in southern Lebanon. Israeli officials have threatened a military offensive in Lebanon if negotiations to push Hezbollah away from the border do not yield results. Just a few days ago, the Israeli army announced that it had approved a plan to advance into Lebanon, although the U.S. is trying to prevent cross border attacks from escalating into a full-scale war. U.S. officials are trying to find a diplomatic solution to the conflict. It is expected that this issue will be raised this week at a meeting between Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in Washington. According to CNN, senior U.S. officials have assured Israel of their support in the event of a full-scale war with Hezbollah. At the same time, U.S. President Joe Biden's senior advisor, Amos Hochstein, stated in Beirut on Tuesday that the U.S. is unlikely to be able to help Israel defend itself in a broader war with Hezbollah, just as they helped Israel repel the Iranian missile and drone onslaught in April. He said it is harder to defend against shorter-range rockets that Hezbollah regularly launches across the border into Israel.